welcome back to another Die Cash Review. Today we have Chase Elliott's number 9 Darlington Throwback. Now, of course, this is the Jimmy Johnson. This is Jimmy Johnson's final year in the Cup Series. Of course, that was 2020. So, we had a throwback for all the Hendrick drivers. So, I think it was... Yeah, so the one that didn't look the same was Byron's Bowman and Elliott's kind of looked the same. Uh, or had the same type of, you know, colors. And then we had Byron's, which was all white. And then, of course, we didn't really have a throwback for Jimmy Johnson, but it was a clash scheme of the three seven-time champions in the NASCAR Cup Series. So that was very awesome to see. Now, this diecast was also released in the Authentics line. We got that right here. There's a little bit different, uh, a few differences. Actually, no, I think there's only one. There's one difference, and we're actually going to be showing that here in just a few minutes because it is very odd. It's kind of weird how, you know, it, it works. I don't know how that's even possible, but it happens, so we're definitely going to take a look at that in just a few seconds. Now, Chase Elliott had a championship 2020 season. So I do plan to get all of the race wins, including the All-Star Race, because that should be uh, coming in the mail soon. I'm going to order that from Plan B Sales because K-State was like, nope, we don't like you. We're not going to order uh, order for you anymore. So, yeah, we're going to figure out what's going on there because I do prefer K-State over anywhere else just because they're not as big as Plan B or people like that. So I have a better chance of getting some di uh, different die casts uh, for, you know, in-stock purposes. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this die cast review. Here is the die cast out of the box. Very, very cool looking race car. So, what we have here, well, I'm going to go ahead and show you the difference. So, you see the quarter panel right here, right? That's actually accurate. So, this right here is accurate. Oh, that Valvoline logo is not. Jesus. Luckily, I got two, so I'm going to have to uh, check to see which one's better. So, you see the quarter panel there? Look at the difference. It swoops down. Now, so again, the Gold Series is accurate, but the Authentics isn't. So technically, you have two different paint schemes. It's a little weird because it's got the Unifirst up here for whatever reason, and then it's got the Unifirst down there. So I don't really know why that is, but that's just how it is. I mean, it's it's weird. It's got more of a swoop here because you can see the silver goes to all the way down to the uh, skirt there, and then it stops at black for the Authentics. So it is a little different. I don't know how that came about. you think it'd be the same paint scheme. I don't know, I guess Lionel was just kind of off their game, which is, you know, nothing special or different, especially with Lionel these days. But yeah, we already have a lot of errors on this die cast, so I'm going to take this inside and probably get the other one and see which one has better quality, then take it back out here and put it up on the wall. So, let's go ahead and start off with this right here on the hood. We got the uh, somewhat Lowe's design, the old Lowe's design. I guess they couldn't really do the building shape. Uh, because, you know, copyright reasons. So they just put a square and they had that little red outline. And you got Napa right there on the hood. You got the playoffs banner for the Chevys right there. You got the black interior, of course. Got the number nine, Napa know-how. Uh, a little bit of decal error. That's awesome. Got uh, Glad to know that Lionel is keeping up their amazing quality. Got Elliot back there on the back. Uh, auto parts, which is very screwed. Uh, is that on the... No, it's not. It's not on the other one. So, yeah, this one is is a mistake as well. Then you got the uh, supposed to be silver spoiler, but I can't again. Uh, Lionel can't really do that, so they kind of just kind of slapped gray on there. So I mean that's fine. Got the tail lights there, which is very crooked. I'm definitely gonna have to get this one replaced. Nap Auto Care Valvoline, the number nine Camaro Z01 Elite, which is also shifted. That's awesome. Got the Chevy bow tie and the camera back there. Moving on to the side, we got Auto Parts, which is very scuffed. Got a paint chip there. Unifirst got that swoosh going on right there from the 9 to the back. Actually, it's from the front to the back, so very, very cool. I really like that design if I can focus on anything in my life. There we go. Kelly Blue Book, two winter stickers I do not remember. I'm pretty sure one was Charlotte, but I don't remember the other one, so I'll put that on the screen right now. Ooh, focus. Ford Focus. Okay. Chase Elliott right there in highlighter yellow looks awesome, or day glow, whatever you want to call that. I like calling it highlighter yellow. I don't know why. I just, I, I don't know. But I got Alcatraz Freightliner, Hooters, Mac Tools. What is that blue? That's a paint chip. That's what that is. That's fantastic. Simon's in Cincinnati there. But look at that blue. That's a a, mo uh, a monster. Yeah, a monster metallic blue. That's what I'm going to call this now. That's an amazing metallic blue right there. It looks very very nice. You got the sparkles in the silver, sparkles in the blue. Very very awesome. Well done, Lionel, on the paint job. An amazing job, Hendrick, for throwing back uh, this diecast. Very, very awesome. Got the playoffs banner right there. Well, not really the banner, but you got the playoffs logo there. Route of 16, you got the Goodyear logo right there, which, oh, no, it's in that weird background. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's still, you know, not good at all. 
They got a paint chip down here, apparently. Got 3M, Sunoco, and the number 9 going on to the front. Let's see how screwed this thing is. Uh, it's actually not that bad. It's actually pretty decent for once. Now, for whatever reason, we have a black and highlighter yellow skirt. Or not skirt, but splitter. I don't know why. It looks like it's a little scuffed, too. So, yeah, look at that. You see all the uh, airs around there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a gander at uh, the airs. So, we've got one right here. It's a little one, but it's there. Uh, playoffs banner's fine, the number nine's fine, this is not, Napa Know-How right there on the back, that's cracked up, uh, you got the deck lid, which also is kind of scuffed, you got the back, which is scuffed, so that's pretty cool, you know, amazing, uh, you got a paint, a small paint chip, again, it's nothing really terrible, but you got the huge decal crease here, you got the paint chip there, you got the paint chip on the B post, you got, let's see, uh, that wrapping didn't do very good on that A post there, you got some decaling error right here again. It doesn't go all the way around. It kind of cracks up and chips off at the base of the wheel well. And then you got the NASCAR Cup Series Playoffs logo, which is also a little crooked. Or not crooked, but it's a little folded. You can't really see, but it is there. I promise you that. You got to look real close in order to see that. So right here on the splitter, you got that paint chip there. Got some weird looking paint error there again. Uh, let's see. Wasn't there one somewhere else? I think there was, I feel like they were missing one. Oh, oh yeah, right here. The uh, huge slash in the Valvoline logo and the uh, that C post kind of finishing up there. And of course you got that huge split by the shark fin. Uh, that's awesome. So yeah, awesome job Lionel. You did uh, amazing once again. Uh, fantastic work. You never, never need to change anything at all ever. So yeah, don't change. No, I'm kidding. Obviously this is a terrible die cast. The Authentics has more uh, decaling quality or better decaling quality than the gold series and the gold series costs way more so if that says anything I don't know what really will but again thank goodness I have another one or I accidentally ordered another one uh, so I'm going to see which one's better and then I'll I don't know, do something with the other one I might trade it off I might uh, throw it up somewhere on eBay or I might do some custom with it I don't know either or uh, we're going to see what we can do with this die cast here so yeah, I do wish Lionel had better quality. Uh, this die cast is amazing. So, 10 out of 10 for the throwback. 10 out of 10 for the paint scheme. Like a 4 out of 3. Or 4 out of 3. Yeah, 4 out of 3. 4 out of 10 for the quality of the die cast. Just, Lionel's been so awful recently. I don't know why. But, I mean, it's Lionel. We can only hope they get better. But, deep inside, we know that they will not. But, I mean, you know, it is what it is. We just gotta hope and pray for the best of the die cast. We got a whole lot of die casts coming to the channel as well. Let's see, we, we got, da, 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 we got, we got another one coming out today, which is going to be at the Alex Bowman Chevy Goods uh, All-Star. We got a Tyler Reddick throwback. We got a Jimmy Johnson Ally scheme. We got the Team Rubicon scheme for Elliot. We got the uh, number one Michael Annette Oreo throwback coming out soon. And we just got a whole bunch of die casts. So if you did not see that die cast uh, haul, you can go check that out in the description. Uh, be sure to take a look at that. Got some really awesome die casts. We got a few duplicates, uh, which is fine because, you know, I didn't really mean to do that. I'm terrible with pre-ordering. But with that being said, that's going to be all for this die cast review. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Upside down.